Welcome back to Golf Quest, everyone. Recently, I was running really, really low on golf balls, so I set out to buy some new golf balls, and I'm not overly picky. I find that I do like some balls more than others, uh, but I often look for good deals. So I was on the Golf Town website, and I found these RBZ soft golf balls on sale for ridiculously cheap, half price. I've used them before, and they were fine. So I decided to pick up a few boxes of those. But while I was on the website, I was also looking around and I found these Bridgestone balls, the Bridgestone Tour B RX golf ball. Now these are actually the previous generation, but I really don't care about that. As I started reading the comments, this ball seemed to stand out. People really seemed to love it, seemed to make a big difference. People were shooting their lowest scores. Sounds great. They were much more expensive than the other golf balls, but they were still on sale. So I decided to pick up a couple of those boxes as well and give them a try. Today, I'm gonna to do a test. I'm gonna test the two-piece RBZ soft golf ball against the Bridgestone golf ball, which is a three-piece golf ball. And I'm gonna do the test in the sim to see if I can pick up any noticeable differences. Now I know feel and things are often around the green and that really should be reserved for out on the course, but I wanna see in terms of distance and control and spin if there's any really noticeable difference between the two. I will say this, in my previous experience in the simulator, two-piece golf balls often crack way faster than three-piece golf balls. You don't tend to lose a lot of golf balls in the simulator, at least you shouldn't. But what does happen is when you use the same golf ball over and over again, it actually cracks. And it happens maybe faster than I would have expected. But I have noticed again that the three-piece golf ball will crack a lot less frequently than the two-piece. So that's something to keep in mind when you're buying golf balls for the simulator. But really, this is more for just in general. Do I like this golf ball in the sim and out on the golf course? So the test today is I'm gonna hit some balls on the range with a few different clubs on the SkyTrack, and then I'm gonna take these balls and I'm gonna to go to E6 Connect and I'm gonna play three holes, a par three, a par four, and a par five. I'm gonna play the hole with the RBZ Soft alongside with the Bridgestone Golf Ball as well and see if, again, there's any noticeable differences. All right, let's get to it. When you finish a range session on the SkyTrack app, you get presented with data in a table that looks like this. Now we don't need all of this data for our ball comparison today, we're just going to look at five of these categories. We're going to look at ball speed, side spin and back spin, how much the ball was hit offline, and then total carry distance. Now in this table, you'll see that there was an outlier for the Bridgestone ball, and I'm going to remove that, and then I'm going to put the averages in a separate chart just to make things a little easier to look at. When I do that, you can see with the outlier gone, these numbers are pretty much identical and there isn't much difference between them. Carry distance, ball speed, all very much the same for the sand wedge. Adding in the 8-iron data here, once again, we don't see much of a difference. There is maybe a small trend for slightly less spin with the Bridgestone, but again, it's so minimal that really there isn't much difference at all.
Staying true to the pattern, here is the 5-iron data. Once again, carry distance exactly the same, slightly less backspin, but again, minimal difference. Not seeing much of a difference at all between these two balls at this point. And finally, adding in the driver data, this may have been a little bit surprising just because I anticipated slightly less backspin with the Bridgestone once again with the driver and producing a little bit uh, further carry distance, but in fact that wasn't the case in our small sample size. And now I'm going to take the two balls out onto the simulated course and play three holes. I'm going to play a par 5, a par 4, and a par 3 uh, with each ball being their own person and just see how we do. been my first ace virtually I still haven't got one on since I got the sky track uh, and I hit that a little bit funny too Okay, so I got a little unlucky there because I ripped that one. That felt fantastic. I hit it right where I was aiming, just long into the water. So uh, that is not on the ball by any means. Um, that felt great.
Okay, so the Bridgestone ended up being plus one through the three holes and the RBZ was two under through the three holes. Can we really conclude from that that, you know, you should just go with the RBZ? Probably not. Uh, I hit the ball well in both circumstances. In fact, I would say I got a little lucky with the RBZ ball, but I, of course, don't believe the luck is inherent in the ball itself. So, however, I didn't really feel, at least in the sim, a big difference between the two balls. I know the Bridgestone ball is going to last longer. Like I said earlier, it's not going to crack as fast, so that's good. But when you get a deal like I got half price for these RBZs, it's hard to pass up and it's hard to justify going to a better ball. Now, outside, this may be completely different. If I'm battling the wind, uh, maybe the Bridgestone handles the wind a lot better. Um, maybe around the green and putting, the feel is a lot different. But as for in the sim, the test, uh, from what I can tell, I don't see a huge difference. They seem to go about the same distance, the same feel. So I'm happy with both. Uh, I'm excited to take both of them out and maybe I'll do another update uh, once I've played with both of them outside as well, see if I've changed my mind. But for now, I'm good with the RBZ, I think it's good. Thanks so much for watching. If you have extra time, go check out some other videos on our channel. And if you would hit that subscribe button, it really helps and it is much appreciated. Thanks so much. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.